In India, 70% of the population lives in rural areas and has no or limited access to hospitals and clinics. Consequently, the rural population mostly relies on government healthcare facilities. A joint study by the World Health Organization and the World Bank recently noted that without access to electricity, many life-saving interventions cannot be undertaken. This, in turn, triples the overall services delivery of these health centers. Despite having all medical equipment and necessary staff at their disposal, solar energy can accommodate these requirements through large capacity PV systems and is fast emerging as a viable solution for decentralized, renewable and sustainable energy needs, especially in the healthcare sector which requires 24 bar 7 uninterrupted electricity. Decentralized renewable energy is a system that uses renewable energy to generate, store and distribute power in a localized way and it can play a significant role in making healthcare affordable and accessible while being energy efficient. Selco Foundation has pioneered the delivery of sustainable energy to the poor in India in a manner that strengthens existing systems by making it more reliable, accessible and acceptable. The Ministry of Health and Family Welfare and the National Health Mission in partnership with Crypto Relief and HD Parikh Foundation and with Selco Foundation as a key implementing agency has solar-powered healthcare facilities that aim to bring sustainable energy solutions to address the key challenges in the health centers. Selco Foundation has come forward and uh, decided to help us in a few of the key social parameters. The most important thing which they have done here today, as is what I would like to highlight as a doctor myself, is their contribution in the health sector. They have ensured that the people find it more conducive to come to these places and that there is a continuous supply of electricity and there are no interruptions in power supply. Now this again has helped us perform better in the sense people do not move away from the health centers stating lack of electricity because Many of the sub-centers, even though the PHCs might be equipped with generators, the sub-centers are not equipped with generators. So this multiplier effect on the health delivery systems. Now, all the sub-centers where, uh, where staff are available and people are going there to get many of their ailments sorted out. So that has helped reduce the load on the CHCs as well as the PHCs. For primary health centers and above, they have also provided water pumps and uh, water heaters. So this again ensures that there is a continuous supply of hot water thus reducing the cost of heating charges and uh, bringing, down, bringing down the electricity requirements in all the PHCs. sustainable energy-led interventions would strengthen immunization, maternal and child care, as well as basic diagnostics and critical care. Decentralized renewable energy solutions and energy efficient equipment. The organization has long-term expansion plan in the pipeline and aims at reaching 25,000 health centers across India in the next five years. One of the crucial things that we realized is that without access to water and without water heating, basic things like well-being of the staff, doing deliveries, sterilizing equipments, these were things which were very difficult to do if we don't have water and water access at a public health infrastructure level. So what's happening right now is the partnership with Crypto and with HT Parikh Foundation has allowed us to look at health centers much more holistically, where we're able to provide not only energy for basic health care as well as critical medical equipments, but also for water access and water heating. And this has impacts at three levels, right? Either you're looking at impacts at an end user level that are using the health center who actually have services more reliably, but also new services that are able to be rolled out at a health center level. You have impacts at the health center itself. So your staff that is there at the health center level that provides these services have much better well-being, have much better retention rates through these solutions. And the third and the most critical is the savings on cost per patient for the government itself. 
because these services if they're provided in a reliable manner and you know staff and end users don't have to struggle for something as simple as energy provision it goes a long way in making sure that health outcomes are improved uh, over time in many rural areas home deliveries are preferred due to lack of obstetric facilities continuous supply of hot water and uninterrupted power supply in public health centers e solar system pratiyondu aarogya kendragalige alavadisirodrinda ella reetiyada turtu chikitsa sandarbhadalli namge sahaya aagta ide maternal health care remains a major challenge for the public health system especially in rural areas selco avaru install maadirodrinda 24 bar 7 power cut illdene namma aarogya kendragalalli ಹೆರಿಗೆ ವ್ಯವಸ್ಥೆ ಸುವಿಸ್ ಸುವ್ಯವಸ್ಥಿತವಾಗಿ ನಡೀತಾ ಇದೆ ಲಾಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಸೊಲ್ಯೂಷನ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಆರ್ ಬೀಂಗ್ ಡಿಪ್ಲಾಯ್ಡ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಫೀಲ್ಡ್ ಯು ನೋ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಬಿನ್ ಕೋ ಡಿಸೈನ್ಡ್ ವಿತ್ ಗವರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಲೋಕಲ್ ಸ್ಟೇಕ್ ಹೋಲ್ಡರ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹೋಪ್ಫುಲಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಗೋ ಅ ಲಾಂಗ್ ವೇ ಇನ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರೆಂಥನಿಂಗ್ ಓವರ್ ಆಲ್ ಹೆಲ್ತ್ ಸರ್ವಿಸಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಪಬ್ಲಿಕ್ ಹೆಲ್ತ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಅದರಿಂದ ತುಂಬ ಉಪಯೋಗ ಆಗಿದೆ ಏನಕ್ಕಂದರೆ ಡೆಲಿವರಿ ಅವರು ಒಂದು ತಿಂಗಳಿಗೆ ಒಂದು ಹತ್ತರಿಂದ ಹದಿನೈದು ಡೆಲಿವರಿ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಒ ಪಿ ಡಿ ಇರ್ತಾರೆ ನೈಟಲ್ಲಿ ಐ ಪಿ ಡಿ ಇರ್ತಾರೆ ಅವರಿಗೂ ತುಂಬ ಅನುಕೂಲ ಆಗಿದೆ ಫ್ಯಾನು ಲೈಟ್ಸು ಬಿಸಿ ನೀರು ಎಲ್ಲ ಎಲ್ಲ ಕಡೆನೂ ಬರ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ನಮಗೆ ಡೆಲಿವರಿ ರೂಮ್ ಡೆಲಿವರಿ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಮೇನ್ ಬಂದ್ಬಿಟ್ಟು ವ್ಯಾಕ್ಸಿನ್ ಹಾಳಾಗ್ತಾ ಇಲ್ಲ ನಮಗೆ ದೀಸ್ ಸೊಲ್ಯೂಷನ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಯೂನಿವರ್ಸಲ್ ಇನ್ ಅಪ್ಲಿಕಬಿಲಿಟಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಈಸಿ ಇನ್ ಅಡಾಪ್ಟಬಿಲಿಟಿ ನೇನು ಹಚ್ಚಿ ನಾಲ್ಕು ರೋಜ್ಲ ಇಂದಿ ಇಕ್ಕಡ ಅನ್ನಿ ಬಾಗುಂಡಾಗಿ ಕರೆಂಟ್ ಉಂದಿ ಉಡುಕ ನೀಲ್ ಉಂಡಾಗಿ ಸೋಲಾರ್ ಉಂದಿ ಬಾಗುಂದಿ ಫ್ಯಾನ್ಲು ತಿರುಗುತ್ತಿನ್ನಾಗಿ ಲೈಟ್ಲು ಉಂಡಾಗಿ ನಾಲ್ಕು ರೋಜ್ ನಿಂಚಿ ಮಾಕೇಮಿ ಬಂದಲೇ ಈಗ ಸೋಲಾರ್ ಇರೋದ್ರಿಂದ ನಮ್ಗೆ ಏನೂ ತೊಂದರೆ ಇಲ್ಲ ಸರ್ ಫ್ಯಾನ್ 